Ever Visa card from the bank Omaha calls first. Skycam on top of the news. Chuck Roberts, John McDonald, Kathy Turner, Terry Yeager, and New Center 3 tonight. Good evening. The tornado season has arrived. The latest pictures from News Center 3 weather radar you just saw. Much of the action has been in Dodge County tonight. A confirmed tornado just northwest of North Bend destroyed several farm buildings. A funnel sighted by authorities near Hooper and separate sightings just north and just west of Fremont prompted a tornado warning about 845 this evening, which is still in effect. Winds clocked unofficially at more than 85 miles an hour in Fremont, caused widespread tree and power line damage. No reports of injuries yet anywhere. Tornado sighted as far west as North Platte. Kathy Turner's in the newsroom with the latest weather conditions. Kathy? That's right. The National Weather Service, Service still has in effect those tornado warnings for Sounders and Dodge Counties. Another one that just went into effect is up here in Dixon. That goes until 1020 tonight. Now, a tornado warning means that tornadoes have been sighted. One was sighted 10 miles west of Fremont, another one 20 miles northwest of Wahoo. A number of other tornadoes were sighted but not confirmed by the National Weather Service at this point. People in these areas should take cover immediately as the effect or the uh, warning still is in effect for another 10 minutes. We also have a watch area. This includes southeastern Nebraska and southwestern Iowa. Cities in this area include Hastings, Beatrice, Lincoln, Omaha, Council Bluff, Shenandoah, and way out here in Des Moines. This area is under a tornado watch until 2 a.m. this morning. This means that there is the likelihood and the chance that tornadoes may develop. Conditions are right for it to happen until 2 a.m. this morning. Now, in Sarpy, Douglas, and Washington counties, we have a thunderstorm warning. This is in effect until 10.15 p.m. The most important thing with this is you should stay indoors and away from electrical appliances while the storm is overhead. If you are caught outside, stay away from lower than high conductive objects. Let's take a look now at New Center 3 weather radar. What you're seeing on the left hand of your screen is the sea. That is Columbus. Thunderstorms are going all the way down in a line to York. The heaviest thunderstorms are indicated by the red areas. This is more than two inches of rain falling per hour. The thunderstorms are moving in a northeasterly direction, scattered all through eastern Nebraska, moving into western Iowa. Again, the towns or the counties that are included in this tornado warning are Saunders, Dodge, and Dixon. The areas that are included in the thunderstorm warning tonight for the next 15 minutes are Dodge, Washington, and Sarpy. We'll bring you further re uh, details in the full weather report. Chuck? Thanks. We'll have an update in about 10 minutes. Thank you, Kathy. Without elaboration, President Carter says he believes the shooting of National Urban League President Vernon Jordan this morning was an assassination attempt. Jordan was shot twice in the back in a parking lot in Fort Wayne, Indiana, this one, hours after making a speech criticizing the nation's swing to the political right. All day, officials from the Fort Wayne police chief to the Attorney General of the United States were saying they were sure the shooting was not racially motivated, but rather a spur-of-the-moment incident. Then came word it may have been the result of a domestic dispute, but tonight the president says he doesn't believe that. But it certainly did not occur at the, uh, you know, during the course of the meeting, was not uh, a result of a whole set of uh, protests at the meeting. Uh, there's not a connection. Nobody called in and say, uh, we're... Uh, XYZ organization and uh, this is a warning to uh, so-and-so and things of that kind. None of that uh, is indicative of a relationship between his missions and uh, the occasion. That's not to rule it out. Vernon's wife, confined to a wheelchair, flew in to be at his bedside today. Doctors say Jordan is in serious condition. It's been three years this week since Jordan addressed the Omaha Urban League banquet. Local director Tal Owen says he was shocked and horrified by the news and called New York to confirm it. One of Jordan's closest friends and advisors, Dorothy Height, is in Omaha for this weekend's league banquet. Dr. Height says she's confident the shooting will not touch off racial unrest. The black community, um, despite the fact that you see the kinds of things that have erupted in Miami and the like, the black community has demonstrated a kind of um, unbelievable tolerance and understanding. And I think that people will wait to see just what this all means. 
Dr. Hyde also feels blacks should not use today's shooting as an excuse to stay away from the polls this November. One of Jordan's long-sought goals, she said, is black involvement and influence at the polls. And this just in, FBI Director William Webster says there is evidence of an apparent conspiracy in the shooting of Jordan. Webster says there's evidence the shooting of the National Director of the Urban League came, quoting Webster now, in furtherance of an apparent conspiracy. The forces against district elections in Omaha and those against any state law on the subject will apparently succeed in forcing another public referendum. The unicameral last year ordered district elections. Efforts to repeal that this year failed, and the idea was hatched to have another Omaha vote to guide the legislators next year in another repeal effort. But elections which decide nothing might not be legal. Now comes City Council President Tim Rouse, who says Omaha's city charter... 2020.